Hello guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to edit thousands of images, resize them, crop them, scale them, combine them together without having to open any photo editing softwares like Photoshop and so on. All this is done with the help of a very powerful tool called Automator inside the Mac OS. I am sure this trick will surely increase your productivity and save a lot of time. I will guarantee you, you are going to learn something very interesting from this video. Let's jump in. Look at these images. Each one of them has a different dimension. This is 4000 by 2400. This is 2500 by 1500. This is 3000 by 2200. So each one of them has got different dimensions. Let's say you want to edit all of them to be of standard width or you want to crop them and so on. And if you have thousands of images, it's going to be a very tedious process for you. Let me duplicate this so copy. Now go to Launchpad, look for an application called Automator. Open this. This opens up here. So this gives you workflow and it gives you application. It gives you quick action, print, plugin, etc. Let's start with application. Okay, select application and choose. Okay, now this window pops up now we need to get all these finder items so look on the left hand side you will find files and folders so you will see get selected finder items so simply double click okay so this is getting all the finder items i will explain you how this process will work then go for photos look for scale images so beginning so it is going to tell you this action would you know copy finder items that doesn't matter don't add so now we are going to be scaling these images to be let's say these are 4000 so let's say 1920 so come back and put 1920 now let's crop these images so double click so don't add again okay so now we will put 1920 here we don't need to scale anything before the images are being cropped so let's say 1920 and let's say height is 1080 See, each one of them has a different heights as well, different dimensions. So, so, so let's say 1920 by 1080 would be ideal, just for a quick example. So, 1080. Okay. So now save them. Let's call it as uh, scale and crop. Okay. Scale and crop. Save. Okay. Now you will see this application called scale and crop on your desktop. Now, select any image okay note down the dimension just simply drag and drop over it you wait for the action now you see that's scale to 1920 by 1080 that's it so now you select thousands of images simply grab drop it over there and wait for the automator to finish the process you see all of them has been scaled 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1080, 1920. That's all. So just a small application where you can just resize all of them together. I'm only showing you like nine, ten images here. You imagine if you have thousands of images. Now let's say you want to combine all of them into as one PDF. So go to PDF on the side. Let's say new PDF from images. Just double click. It's going to be saving in desktop and it's going to be saving the file name as new PDF from images output. Okay, simply save this automation okay now select these images and drop it over there you wait for the automator to finish the process see it's finished it now it has created a PDF file on the desktop so you see here PDF file all the PDFs and all the files are there combined together that's it it's very simple now let's say you wanted to give the file name by yourself and save the output as one in one place just simply select this show this action when the workflow runs so basically this is the workflow then show only the selected item so let's say i'm going to be clicking this and let's try the same process again okay go back to any of the set just simply whatever i'm just retrying it just put it over there ok 
you see this time it is not saved automatically it is asking you to save say same setup so now you can just select wherever you want to save and give the file name as let's say saved version 1 whatever okay continue so now that create so by doing any of these automation you can actually go back and you know see now all these are combined together so any of these automation you can actually control you can have a lot of controls so let's say you want to you wanted to change any uh, type of let's say you can delete actually automation process as well so you can come back and, and delete it simply double click uh, let's say if you want to change any of the uh, file name okay so let's say this is a tiff file you want to change the file name to be tiff save it simply come here let's select one of the image okay and drag and drop and you wait for it see it has renamed to if and even this file size is becoming big so there are so many things you can do actually you can have if files you can png JM, jpeg bmp and all that so go to automate automate again just new now this workflow is what we have seen now let's look at we looked at the application let's look at what is quick action select quick action and choose let's do the same process okay go to this uh, get selected uh, finder items just double click okay and go to images okay let's say scale images okay, don't add. this time maybe we'll say 900 by whatever okay let's say first scale it then let's crop it again okay, don't add it okay now let's say 900 by 600 and you save it as uh, let's say uh, uh, resize 900 by 600 okay okay if you save now this time it is not getting saved in the desktop so now come to any of the image simply right click okay you see resize 900 by 600 so it has become as an action right in the image itself so that's the difference between application and a quick action actually you can do so many things in the pdfs you can compress the images in the pdf say for example if you want to compress any of the pdf images if the pdf file is if the pdf file is very big so you can just want to compress the images you can simply do that you can uh, you can go to so many things you can do so you can there are some you know mail actions pdf actions photo actions you know, a lot of text actions so these are pre-built there that's it for now i hope this was very helpful if you like this video i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would give me a motivation to do more videos and if you specifically want to know any trick kindly do let me know in the comments below i will try my best to make a video Thanks for watching.